So the singles was the one that everyone, I mean, every, all, the whole of Sport England, I think, and the, everyone that was there to watch that match against Jonathan, because I was expected to win the gold in the singles. And I didn't make it. And there was a lot of head scratching, and it was kind of tough, I think. I was very well protected from it, because I did the best I could, and it was just one of those things. But um, I think it was, there must have been discussions about, well, was it worth it? <laughs> and then, fortunately, Lee and I then went on to go and win the doubles or after that. So a silver and a gold wasn't too bad from two events. <laughs> it wasn't, I didn't feel I was ever paying back. It was the end of a journey with a group of people that we'd all um, been on. And it was, it was a really special moment because the person that was probably the most happiest for me was someone like Lee Beecher, you know, who was my competitor and he probably could have won the gold if it all worked in his favour, but and he was just so happy that I managed to achieve this and it was going to be my last sort of thing I was going to do and, and everyone in the camp was the same. And it was a kind of a weird, thinking about how competitive the sport is and how selfish and it was a strange situation where after I won we all went out for some beers and it went in late into the night and everyone was there so the two sports analysts who were good friends of mine as well um, two couple of coaches a, a guy who just came along to watch uh, Nick Matthew James Will Shropley they were out until they were to play doubles in the morning but everyone was out and we all went around and, and talked about the last few years and what it meant and it was almost like a, I know it was a personal victory for me but it was a victory for everyone it was like a, it, was, it really was something I've never experienced before or since.